Here we are, folks. Beano Black, and we're back at uh, Cowboy Meatball. And for the kids out there, this is Santa's uh, toy bag. So, <laughs> anyhow, uh, don't mean to alarm anybody, but yeah, this is Earth down here. Now, remember, I didn't put it out of the picture that that's Earth down here, okay? But pretty much, that's Earth down there. We're going to zoom in on that. The reason it is Earth is you have to realize the field of view, and it is in front of the sun, okay? But they zoom back H1A. They're not going to tell you that, that that's Earth there. Let me go prove it to you that it's Earth. Now over here, you can't get to 21st feed right now. Okay? And they don't tell you that... They do tell you here that this is Earth there on B. We're on... We were at Ace. Okay? And you can see as Earth does its counterclockwise. You see as it comes around and that filament comes around. Okay? Over at A, you're seeing the total length of that. And then let me zoom in on this. So, when you're at A, which I just what I started the video with, you can see the other side of Earth here. And when when it comes over this side, it might actually still have the uh, that long of what I'm showing you. Let's go back. I can pop over. I think real fast. See, we're at Sechi. When you when you're head on in that electrical activity, because see this goes back towards the sun, okay? But once it comes in view of, in the, at A, you can catch it in this angle, okay? And then I'll zoom in real fast here too, and we'll, you'll realize that that is Earth. And now in this shot, if up by Venus and stuff, I'll go up there and you should be able to see, now that's Earth down there. And I'll be able to show you at JPL too. And a good fact too is I should be able to pull up this sets you here, which will show you that, see, and you remember you've had Venus up here before, and then uh, Mercury, and more than likely what's getting blacked out, I left it going at the speed it is when we get in here, more than likely uh, this is not Mercury. Mercury is out of the view, and what, what's get, what they've always done with this here is they don't want you to see the meatball that's up behind Earth. Every time you've ever seen Earth shot, from either A or B, they always show it with this here, like this. This is in, put in there for a reason. Now, what they did, you see they do the blocking here, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, because you can see the magneticals of the, of the planets up here, okay? And more than likely, one of these up here, because I can point, and I can also point when I get up higher, that when you go over here, they put this here shade thing in, that lens, fake lens thing in. Now, whatever there is, there's something, but the idea that, see, it's blinking, so, whatever they're wanting. Now, I have seen a fast-moving star, but there's a lot of fast-moving stars, okay? But then, uh, what I'm beginning to believe is... It's one, it's one, of, the, there, one of the comments is in this view, or something is. And we're going to zoom into it on this shot. As you see, what's good about it is when they do the blocking, and then see, each one of these is a magnetical line. And it proves the actual factuals. And this actually might be two magnetical lines here. No matter what, it's closer to the satellite. And this is a magnetical line here also. And you know this is a magnetical. That's a magnetical. This is a magnetical. Don't you want to be a magnetical too? You see the commercials. You see how psyops and keep on pounding things into people's heads. Yes, that's what the one indicator you know about psychological. Okay, TVs should be all turned off. Propaganda and stuff like that. Get your news. And, you know, turn the TV on and watch the news and then compare it to your newspaper. That's the one thing we've got going for us. But, see, they control and own both, you see. So, but then, see, they, there is enemies, you see. There's been, you know, pay attention to uh, Fox News because they're the owners of an enemy of somebody that owns another propaganda machine, you see. So, they're mad at each other, you see. <laughs> no, I don't have low disk space on my computer. So... Actual factual is we have Earth here, Jupiter there, and you've known from the recent coverage that I've always given you from showing you, A, that basically Mercury and Venus are currently up here, because basically what, what they're kind of doing too, scientifically, so that everybody kind of understands when looking at it real fast, if they're communicating on the telephone or on a satellite feed or whatever they're doing to each other, astronomers, astrologers, basically Venus is pretty much here because basically they're letting you know where Venus is at. Now you can see the magneticals up here. You see how you see this magnetical here of that planet down there, and then we'll follow that magnetical line. So, 
So you got to research and figure out which planet that is. And it looks like it keeps going down. And basically, it looks like it's hooked up to either this one here or this one here. And we'll be able to zoom in on that. So basically, those planets there, whatever is on this magnetical, is in our galaxy. I mean, uh, duh, but it's in our solar system. You see what I'm saying? And that's the actual factual. All these magneticals are in our solar system, okay? So this one here is, this magnetical there is, and there. And then I'll pump up a little bit more. And you got to realize that Venus and these magneticals, see this magnetical line here that's flashing? See, what they're letting you know is th it is actually uh, doing a atmospherical flare to a CME and or the meatball, the number two meat cowboy meatball or whatever will come up with the name of it. It's the other huge magnetical that is up here behind that I ended up finding on, and we get this from the 18th, okay, because basically when it did that, and then we'll stop, step it, and I'll reverse real fast, should be able to find our other meatball. Now there, that's the comet there, and we'll go back and look at that at the fresh footage. So we back it up some more, back it up one more. And it's actually kind of hard to find. And then I'll go slower, 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 slower. And then I'll step forward. And we'll go back. And yes, there is one guy, I, you know, I'm not going to say any names. But yeah, we see what's down here. But you're also going to see that in my future video when we show you the, uh, the turning. It's pretty much the same thing. What he's seen was there's an object down here to the to the lower left but anyway you guys know it's here and I'll end up and I think that what they were doing is they're doing coverage trying to not make sure they don't, they don't, it scares the hell out of everybody because that massive meatball besides the meatball down here which you can't see because it's the object that is between Venus and there did that blocking out and it it seems to be what they either that or I'm screwing up somehow but you see, it's only a step and a step and a step. And you've seen it before in my videos, and it's locked into my videos, that you see the massive object that was up here. And I'll see if I can get it locked in. I had it locked in before. Just slower, 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 slower. It's... There it is second time. They're, they're not hiding it. It's always here. Sechi's always got it. It's all there. They never hide anything. So see, this huge meatball there, I'm going to pump up real fast, 400, and you can see that this thing is up way up there behind. So you see Jupiter and Mercury right now are not closer to this because see, Earth is closer to this, okay? But see, that's the meatball that's out the back door. Okay, and you can you can't miss it right here. This is the meatball that's out the back door. Uh, I'll get down and hit play on this, and this is all from the 18th. And then hit faster, pump it up real fast. And then that's going backwards, and we'll go forward. Play. You see, and the meatball's going that way, and it's not going to hit Earth, as you can see from looking at this perspective. See, this is why they're willing to let you see this now. It's because, yeah, Earth's safe as hell, because we're not going to get hit. But they're not really letting you know that that is Earth down there. Okay. But as you realize, when you look at... Uh, i got to get my blue shot of Sechi again here real fast. Which one do I have? And when you get in here and look at... Oh, I think we're at a head. You see, but it's at a different angle. Let me go over across here. Let's see, H12A. And then this is the more footage in the future. I'm going to be making one where they turn the satellite. Okay, and they can turn them. So what's interesting to do is keep an eye on what we have in this quadrant there. Because as you can see, and no matter what, it might be them going like, well, we got a new planet there. but. Th even with the movement of the satellite, you can see that whatever that, there's something dancing around over there, okay? Let's zoom in on it real fast right now, put this in the video. There's going to be a bunch of videos because we're getting this stuff 
slammed into us all of a sudden that it's not slammed in it all of a sudden they're opening their eyes up since they had that comment come by you got to understand we found that comment recently just in 2012 you see so x4 c2012 x4 so As you can see, that there is something that's dancing around pretty good back right there. I mean, I'm going to point to it and it gets blocked out, but the, pretty much what they're kind of trying to block out is this thing's dancing around pretty good. Now, I have seen, uh, because see, the satellite moves this way, but as you can see, whatever that star in electrical action going back and forth to each other is going, as the satellite moves this way, it's actually moving and then bouncing back fast that way. So if you just zero yourself in that the satellite's moving to the left, you see, getting ahead of the rotation movement of Jupiter and Earth, you see. And that thing is, the electrical of that is bing-bonging back and forth of that right there I'm pointing to it. And it's, it's basically a lot of what's around right there. So we'll zoom in. I can't point. Let's zoom in real fast with the uh, magnifier. And it might be a star that basically what I was trying to, but that I was looking around is like, you see, there's other stars that do that too. Before I put the magnifier up, you see how we're over here? Because my pointer should still be pretty good because I haven't sucked in on the magnifier yet. So it's not just one, but they sure seem to be. Then again, it might be that they're just trying to cover up right this here star here that's getting big. So we might have another comet on the way. Uh, let's just zoom in here real fast, see what we get for a look. But it's still hell of a distance out. So maybe we've got Elanon. Maybe that is Elanon coming. I mean, uh, Ison. Okay. Because now remember the pointing wise, I'm kind of with the with the wood handle on the deal. It's kind of hitting what they're probably blocking. So. Because no matter what, that stars, those two stars or a comet or whatever it is, because you've seen how when we see the comets, it's kind of hard to... Now, when I come down... Uh, moving around. Basically, oh, I see, see. So it's another one of the helium stars or something like that. As you see, it's going red. So you actually get that from... Because see, this is all white and red, white and blue colored, you see, and, and then it's, it's actually putting off. So as you see radioactive stars and more than likely it's probably those two that I've zoomed in on and I'll scoot over a little bit on the screen here because that's the magnetical of Jupiter so there's definitely some a little bit of action going on maybe I may even screwed up and not even two or yeah okay because there's our box over there so let's get over here and we'll know exactly what we're kind of looking at because the box is going to keep on popping in so yep, there's something interesting to them, or we're pointing something out that the idea that and no matter what, we've got these stars because even even what they're blocking out, and then to the right of it, we got the same sort of. So maybe that is a comet coming in, okay? And basically, what I'm going to say is, this could be a comet right there. And then also interesting with that there. So get rid of the magnifier pop out of here uh, we'll get up to I'm not really popping out but here and then so you watch these magneticals we've pretty much found a bunch of planets this basically uh, backs up my uh, observations of all this footage that we've been seeing when we had CME action off the Sun that we could see a lot better and brighter because it, it opens up everybody's eyes so your optics of your own humanness can see the magneticals that are in our solar system okay and yes this is Venus more than likely up here or whatever else but then again what I showed you from uh, here on the 18th when I froze it when we're doing that 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 uh, even when I have it sped up you can see you'll see a little bit of it that huge meatball is up here but now remember we're safe as heck because we're basically down here and you can see that from this footage here okay that's earth everything's all hunky-dory fine because you know everything's fine right here on Earth. We're doing just fine. We've sped up a little bit. They added a second to the clock last year, okay? So the sun is picking up its speed. Things are changing a little bit, enough to put a second on the clock time. The Zulu nuclear, yes, it's the clock that runs the world pretty much. UTC Zulu 